gonna jump right into it and show you what you need of course you'll need your bench I have a staple gun a piece of plywood some batting some seating foam and then fabric of choice here is the seating foam that I have I got a two pack of 16 inches each I got this this was cheaper than buying the longer strip of foam and my bench was exactly 32 inches so this worked out best for me so what you see me doing here off camera is putting a little bit of hot glue on one side of the foam so that I can just stick it to the other so that they just won't move under it but you can also buy these this foam by the yard if your bench is longer All right, now that those two are glued together, literally the next thing you do is just lay down all of your supplies face down. You're gonna start with your fabric of choice. I got three quarters of a yard because my bench was 34 inches. So you want to lay that out. If your fabric is wrinkled, be sure to press it or steam it before you um, get started just to be sure that you don't have any wrinkles in your finished product. Here is the batting. I bought this by the yard um, just because it was really, really inexpensive. And then I just cut it down to the size that I needed. So you wanna lay down your fabric. Next, you wanna lay down your batting. And then after you have your batting down, then you want to lay your cushion on top of that. And then after you have your cushion, you just want to place your plywood directly on top. I took my measurements that I needed of my bench and I went to Home Depot and bought the plywood and they were able to cut it to size for me. All right, now that you have everything on there, you just wanna to begin to staple your fabric, your batting, cushion, everything gets stapled to the plywood. So you wanna start with one side lengthwise and just as you're stapling it to the plywood, make sure that you're pulling it tight so that you're preventing any wrinkles on the other side and you're making sure that you're getting a really secure fit on your bench. After you're done with one side, flip it over, do the exact same thing on the other side, pulling it tight as you go. And then once you get to the edges, you want to just kind of wrap it as if you were wrapping a present. So kind of folding it into itself first and then putting a little cuff in the corner, if that makes sense, you can see what I'm doing here, but it's exactly like you were wrapping a gift for someone. But that's what I did on each corner and then stapled it down so that I could get the other side done and then straighten it up a bit so that it's a bit prettier on the underside, although nobody's gonna see that part. So again, just tucking it in and then kind of doing a fold over to secure that edge. Pulling it tight every step of the way. All right. Then once I had that securely on, the excess fabric at the top, I literally just folded it under just to make it neat. You don't even have to do that extra step if you don't want to. You can just cut it off, leave it there. Nobody's gonna see the underside of your bench anyway, but I just folded it under and then stapled to secure. And you just flip it over and repeat those same steps on the other side. Please remember just to pull it tight as you're doing this so that you can make sure everything is going to look good. And that's it all finished. No sewing required for this bench. Very, very easy to make. You can make this whatever you choose. You can even switch it out as you switch your decor. You can just pull this off and put a new piece of fabric on. I absolutely love the way it came out. I just took this and set it 
inside of my bench that I got for really cheap off Facebook Marketplace. And I'm gonna add some baskets under there and I'm gonna be done with this bench. And it was really easy, really fast, and it turned out super cute. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.